Welcome to a brand new series of JavaScript exercises. In this series of YouTube videos, we'll go through a large number of exercises created to improve your knowledge of all the important things in JavaScript. The series of videos is both for beginners and intermediate developers, since we are going to start from really easy exercises and move on to much harder examples later on. Every single solution is going to be explained in detail so you can learn exactly how was something sold and why was it sold in that specific way. So let's dive right in. All the exercises will be from exorcism.io and in this video we are going to set up everything so we can start coding in no time. It's the landing page of exorcism. You can come here by typing exorcism.io in your browser but I'll also leave links down in, in description. You need to sign up, so press sign up and sign up using GitHub or type in all this information. Once you sign up, I'll be there. Pause the video and do it now. Now, once you're signed up, you can see the list of all the languages here. Sure, we are interested only in JavaScript for now. So let's type JavaScript and go right into it. Now, uh, we can click join the JavaScript track and this depends on you. You can either uh, follow me along in my videos and see all the solutions or you can click mentor mode so you will still get a mentor, re mentor from exorcism review your solutions before you pu can publish them. But for me I'll go on independent mode. Here you'll see a list of all JavaScript exercises, a total of 96 of them. Some are easy, some are medium and some are hard difficulty. Of course we are going to start with easy ones, so click easy. And what's easier than a simple hello world? Now click begin walkthrough and we'll be welcome to exorcism installation guide. Choose your operating system, I'm currently on Mac. Uh, we'll need to use terminal to install exorcism, but don't worry it is really easy. Click yes. And now just copy and paste into the console what stands here. For Mac, it's this. I'm not going to install Exorcism right now because I already have it installed. But you can check if it's installed by typing Exorcism version into the console. As you can see, I'm running I'm currently running 3.0.9. If you get Exorcism version and then some number, you should be fine, and then you can press yes. Now you need to configure the CLI press configure the CLI and now you just need to copy and paste this into the console again and press yes. Finally everything is set up. Now you can press copy here on this hello world and paste it into the console. It is going to be downloaded to the folder here and the next thing we are going to do is open that folder in your uh, code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code, but the process should be uh, the same in any code editor. So I currently have many exercises here because I already sold some, but you should just have Hello World. You'll see that in every exercise you'll get a folder with solution. Uh, this file is just here as a placeholder, but for every other exercise besides Hello World you need to create this file by yourself and then there is uh, a spec file. These are the tests for the exercise. So let's open this file and this side, file side by side. Here they already solved the exercise for you so you can just see how this works. And here are the tests. What are we going to do for every single exercise is that exorcism is going to test uh, the solution themselves. So what we need to do here we are currently in uh, our folder and we are going to move directory to hello world. Okay now that we are in hello world we'll write npm install, npm i for short. Once you install all the dependencies required for the exercise, we can wait, wait for a bit here, you'll be able to run npm test which is going to run all the tests for, for a specific exercise and then you'll see if you sold it correctly. 
OK, so now I can write npm test. And in, down in the console, I'll get explanation if I solve it correctly or not. So this exercise has only one test. And I passed it. So for every exercise, you'll need to export the function you're going to create. Here we are exporting a class, hello world, with a constructor. We'll delete everything that, that stands here and we'll just return what should be. But we'll write it ourselves so we can learn how the exorcism takes in exercises. So we'll export a class called hello world, which is going to have a constructor with one method in it. And here we can see how our our tests being made. Here we have a greeter, and greeter is nothing more than a new instance of Hello World class. So our greeter is going to have a method called hello, so let's create it. This that hello is equal to an arrow function returning hello world. And that should be it for this exercise. Let's check it out. We run npm test and here, everything passed. This is the form in which exorcism will test our exercises. Once you complete your exercise, you're going to want to submit it. And you're going to submit it by typing exorcism submit. So this, these two keywords are going to be the same for submitting every single exercise. Exorcism submit and then the name of the file. Uh, you need to keep in mind that you need to be in this folder, in the folder you're working with to post this file. You'll type exorcism submit, hello world JS, type enter, and then you'll be greeted by this message saying that you can view your solution on this link. You come here and now this is going to look a bit different for those who choose chose individual and those who choose mentored mode. Here you can press uh, publish to publish your solution and here you can see your code. Uh, after you publish your solution you can click view published solution and then here on community solutions you can see uh, how other people solve the same task. You can see there are many different ways of solving the same task. Finally, you can go to tracks, JavaScript, and now it should be uh, 1 over 96. Uh, as you can see, I, I also solved some more. Uh, and every single task you solve will have a check mark here. That's it for this video. This was the most boring part of all the series. We just had to go to some install installation stuff and stuff like that. But don't worry. Uh, the next videos are going to be much more interesting and you will learn much more about the language you're writing code with. So, the next we are going to do leap. And we are going to go through all of these exercises. You're going to learn so much. In every single, uh, every single exercise will be explained solution will be explained and you will uh, learn all the new topics that you need to know uh, about JavaScript. This is also really good for passing interviews uh, to get a job. So let's go to the next video.